basically it's a three-legged stool. And all of these things, the physical natures of, of soils, the biological components in the soil, and the, and the chemical or the fertility natures of soils are extremely critical. And that's the principles of uh, Don Schrieffer's principles of soil management. Start with the air. It's the most important element for anything that's alive is oxygen. Then you start managing the water. Now we're dealing with what? Are we dealing with physical, physical properties of soil? Are we dealing with chemical properties of soil? Biological, biological properties of soil? Are you dealing with all of them? One, depending on what your yield, as he calls it, yield limiting factors are, you can take one of those criteria and move the other two with it. It's a matter of getting it right so that the three-legged stool gets erected again. Then you deal with decay, which is another word for what? Digestion. Because the digestive system of the plant is around the root ball. That's the digestive system of the plant, like the rumen and the other compartments of the, of the uh, GI tract are, are digestive organs of the ruminant. The digestive system of the root ball is involved with decay, recycling of nutrients, like we just talked about. And then you deal with nutrient management. And that's why this Amish farmer was frustrated because he did all the things that he needed to do from a fertility perspective. And his quality, three years later, still was slugging along. What he needed to do was take that slurry manure, because all these people put in slurry manure, which makes manure even more soluble, it makes the potassium even more available at the expense of what? Magnesium and calcium. Remember how deficient he was in magnesium? And how high he was in potassium in that lucerne? That's a problem forage. He needs to compost, if he can compost it. He needs to probably rip those pans, because I can tell you right now, he had pans that were down there as deep as the moldboard plow would go. Slice those pans to get roots to go down, drainage to go down, flush away all those excess potash salts using the, the right kinds of ingredients that are associated with what? Fertility and cleansing. Sulfur, calcium, and so forth. That's what he needed to do. Build up the biology. Build up the biology. Get those salts out of the, out of the soil. Do you notice that other soil was no salt in it? Take a potato sometime and slice it right down the center, sprinkle a little of any kind of salt. I don't care if it's small fertilizer salts or just table salt. We're not talking about sodium chloride or the salt that you consume on your food. All minerals are salts. Depends on what the salt index is. I think that's on here too. Uh, and just sprinkle some on there and see what happens. Come out, come back an hour later, half an hour later, and see what you see. And what you'll see is tremendous amounts of water on the root surface that had a little bit of salt on it. What's happening? It's drawing the moisture out of the root. What's, and now, if the root can do that, what do you think it's doing to the microbes that live around the root? Aren't they osmotically influenced? You put salt around anything, osmosis. Moisture is going to diffuse to where, to where the salt is, so the bacteria are going to dehydrate along with the roots. Certainly good, um, and a lot of what he says backs up what other people say too, so it gives you some confidence in what they're talking about.